bing bada boom boom boom. How you like the, the... A note. The note reads, Help me. Climb ladder to save me. Come here, Alexa. Oh no, come here, Alexa's in trouble. I gotta climb this ladder? Uh, maybe I'll just pretend I didn't see the note. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Even though Come Air Lex has been so shady lately, I love that little hunk of plastic. I gotta do this. Welcome, Mayor Aaron. Come Air Lex, what are we doing up here? I'm the host of a new game show titled Are You a Genius of the Sky? And you're the first contestant. Man, I thought you needed help. You brought me all the way up here for a stupid game show? You know how I feel about heights. All right, so you're in. First question, who is the first SmackDown Women's Champion? Ha! Well, if this game's gonna be that easy, I'm in. The answer to your question is Bezeki Lizinch. Wrong. <laughs> the correct answer was Becky Lynch. That's what I said. What'd you do to this frickin' ladder? It's like an electric chair. I raked it up to shock you for every wrong answer. Are you serious? Why can't I remove my hands? They're stuck. Oh, don't worry. Your melted flesh probably just got stuck to the ladder. Well, this is real sick, Comer Alexa. Real frickin' sick. Jilloween is still two months away, and this is some real jigsaw shit. But you know what? I'm up here, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna beat you, and I'm going to be a genius of the sky. So bring on the questions. The, the answer to the question is uh, uh, Elite 79 Io Shirai. Hey, congratulations. You got one right. Bad news is you went one for nine, so unfortunately you are not a genius of the sky. You lose. Okay. Guess I'll climb down now. Hey y'all, welcome to Lumber Joeville. Women's wrestling lives here. Now unexpectedly, Basic Series 124 shipped about a month earlier than anticipated. So I'm happy to say I got Basic Series 124 Io Shirai. Now I know from images that you saw online and even just looking at it, it looks really simple, but I'm actually a big fan of this figure and I think this is a basic done right. So with that being said, let's take a closer look. Alright, so not much to say about the carding here. I mean, this is kind of the same the basics I've looked for a while, but it does look pretty appealing to the eyes with a giant photo of EO there and then her men on card. Now, I did get a third one to keep MOC, and we'll see how long that lasts because for some reason I really don't display basics men on card, even though I know some people do, and there's nothing wrong with that. But with that being said, let's open her up because that's what we do here in Lumber Jovo, and let's take a closer look. Basic Series 124, Io Shirai. This attire was worn a few times, but most notably on a promo she cut on the July 10th, 2019 episode of NXT, where she showed her true colors, saying she didn't need friends and didn't need any of you, solidifying herself as a heel. Alright, so I wanted to give my first impressions of this figure before I take a closer look at the face scan, the attire, and compare her to her elite. Now, I am going to say right off the bat, in my opinion... This is the proper way for Mattel to do a women's basic figure with today's current tooling. And what I mean by that is it's no secret 
that Mattel has really taken cost-cutting measures to their basic line, and we especially notice that in the female figures. There's not a whole lot of molding involved, there's a lot of paint application, and not a whole lot of attention to detail, but sometimes the basics can blow us away. The basic 117 Tony Storms, the basic 123 Chelsea Greens are just two examples. Now, this, in my opinion, is an example of the current tooling and paint application that can be done properly and make, quite frankly, an awesome basic. So I'll show you the little details up close here why, but let's start off by taking a closer look at her face. So this scan is freaking awesome, and it's pretty much the same as her Elite 79. Now, I am going to explain that in one second, but I want to throw a disclaimer out there. And that disclaimer is that Io Shirai is one of those women's figures that you really have to inspect carefully. You really have to inspect that face carefully when you're going to purchase it. Because that TrueFX face scan printing technology, on her figure I noticed, if it's even a little bit off, it looks really bad. So you have to make sure that it's printed on cleanly and is exactly where it should be and then it's going to look great. But that's just a disclaimer. Now, what I mean by saying it's almost the same as her Elite is if I put this here, I'm going to insert a picture to the left here of her Elite 79, and I notice that the face sculpt seems to be the same. The hair sculpt seems to be the same. But I feel like that TrueFX face scan printing technology is a little different than the eyes. The Elite seems to have maybe a little bit more eye makeup, and her mouth is a little more open, so I don't know if they just had more white for the teeth to show more in the Elite, but either way, it does seem a little different for me. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but either way, I really like this basic scan. I think it's good. Now, the one nitpicky thing I am going to say is the hair is the exact same as her Elite 79. And if this attire is depicting that promo I was talking about, her hair should be like a brownish type color. Now, remember, I am colorblind, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't this reddish type tint that she has here. I would have really liked to see it like a brownish, but... Either way, I mean, it, it's one of the best scans out there, in my opinion. And even though it seems to be a little bit different than her Elite, it's still tremendous. So now let's move on to probably the most controversial part of this figure, and it's the attire. Now, to me, this is exactly what I was hoping they would choose for Io Shirai in the basic line, because it's obvious, and it's no secret that they've really dumbed down the tooling and really cut the cost of these basic figures, so when they try to attempt a really intricate attire, it falls flat. Look at the Nikki Cross Basic 111 or the upcoming Ember Moon from Basic 125 and you'll see what I mean. So I actually prefer when they do put these females in plainer attires, that way it can be accurate. I mean, the Scarlet Basic 121 is a perfect example. And this EO is exactly what I was hoping they would put her in as far as her attire goes. And it's super accurate. If you go back to the July 10th, 2019 promo, it is like pretty spot on actually. She even has pinkish red nails painted on, so that's a nice little detail. Now her top is completely painted on, which we see in all these women's basics basically. With a little molding between the chest, but it does give off that appearance of that tight top. Moving to the back, we even have a little design painted in there. And then moving down to her lower body here, it's just plain black, but once again, it's accurate. And they even painted a little bit higher, kind of going in the mid-waist area to simulate the higher type leather pants that she wore. And then she just has short boots. So I know by looking at this figure, it doesn't look like much. And it seems like a lazy way to go. But to me, this was smart. I mean, this is how you put a woman's basic out there and not completely offend us fans that see the intricate attire, attire dumbed down, you know what I mean? So this is what I would prefer, and I actually think they did a really good job here. So next, I wanted to compare EO's Elite Series 79 figure on the left and her Basic Series 124 on the right. Now I know this is not a very fair comparison because obviously the Elite is going to be superior, but hear me out because I have an idea. Now, I am going to say from the start, yes, this Io Shirai Elite 79 is my favorite figure of all time. Io Shirai is my favorite wrestler, and being a women's wrestling figure collector, this to me is gold. I mean, this is just amazing. Everything from the attire, the molded detail, the paint application, the accessories of the pleather jacket with the straps and the furry hood and the face scan. I mean, it's perfection. I, I think it's truly an underrated figure, and honestly, you can get it on the cheap right now, so I would go out and get that ASAP. Now, with that being said, I really do like her basic because of the simplicity. And I had this idea, and hear me out, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. 
But I really like this idea as I was looking at these two. And I kind of want to see this in the future where in the Elite line, we have the more intricate, detailed, you know, flamboyant, whatever you want to call it, entrance or ring attire. And then in the Basic line, release the woman in street gear or promo attire, something that they can portray accurately and still make it look good. A good example would be that Candice LeRae Elite. Can you imagine if they put that in basic form, it would not turn out. So why not make a basic of Candice down the road in the Way t-shirt and then just some shorts and boots? I mean, it'd be a simple way, but I would really like to see a pattern of a elite woman's figure with all the detail, everything else. And then in the basic line, get more of a basic attire, no pun intended, where it's either promo, interview, or street gear, because I think that's a nice little pairing. All right, so one last thing I wanted to show y'all, and maybe it's just because I'm such a huge fan of EO, but in my opinion, that NXT Women's Championship that comes with that Shayna Baszler from the Fan Takeover Elite Series looks effing spectacular on this basic EO Shirai. Now, I know the belt's not perfect. It's definitely way too big. It's just the men's title repainted, but if they did scale it down, I imagine it would look even better. But to me, it looks awesome on this figure because this does simulate like a promo or a backstage or in-ring segment EO where she would be carrying around the title and it becomes the focal point of this figure. So I just think it looks great, but that's just me. I was just throwing a suggestion out there. If you do have this basic and do have that title, that it looks really good displayed on her. And here's one last look at Basic Series 124, Io Shirai. Now, before I give a score to this figure, I just want to remind y'all that my scores are personal scores. It's all subjective. And I appreciate and respect all of y'all's thoughts and opinions. I just want to throw that out there. Now, with that being said, I give Basic Series 124 Io Shirai an overall score of an 8 out of 10. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Some people might think this is a lazy figure. Some people might think it's plain, might think it's boring, but you can't argue that it is accurate. It is so accurate to that promo. Is it perfect? No. Like I said, the hair color should be a little more brown. But either way... This works in my opinion, and I would much rather have this interpretation of Io Shirai than if they made a basic of Io in her ring attire with today's tooling and just dumbed down her ring attire and made it look cheap and crappy, if that makes sense. So I think an idea that I had that would have actually spiced the figure up a little bit is if you go back to NXT and watch the March 31st, 2021 episode when she attacks Raquel Gonzalez and they have like a backstage brawl and everything... She's wearing the same attire, except her pants are like a, a red. So if they would have made these pants like a metallic, shiny, glittery type red, I think that would have made the figure pop. However, this is accurate to that NXT promo that I mentioned before. So I know it's not that exciting to look at, but like I said, I would much rather have an accurate, plain figure than have her in her ring attire and have it dumbed down and look cheap. So... I actually really enjoy this basic. All right, so one last thing. I just cannot stress enough, I can't, that if you don't have the Elite Series 79 Io Shirai, you need to run, not walk, but run to your computer, get on Ringside Collectibles, and get her for $14.99. At least at the time of this recording, that's how much she is. That's a steal. I mean, seriously, even if you don't really collect the women... This figure might get you to start collecting the women because it's amazing. It's a work of art. That's all I got to say about that. Now, on the other hand, if you're a big collector of women's figures like a lot of you are, then I do think this Basic Series 124 Io Shirai is a pretty good option to get. And I think it's really cool to have a promo attire Io and a ring attire Io. However, she is a dollar or two more expensive than the Elite, believe it or not, on Ringside Collectibles. So if you're not too crazy about the figure and you just want to wait to get her in the stores, that's fine too. But honestly, Eo's one of those superstars that when you're holding the figure in your hands, it just feels and looks amazing. But you really have to look at it up close to appreciate it. But with that being said, thank you for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. 
Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and join the community. Also check out Lumber Joe Cast every Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. where the treasure and I talk wrestling. And check out Pro Wrestling Tees slash LJV and get some shirts. Have a good night, y'all. We'll